She stated that there is a number of organizations in the booklet itself that support the aims of this booklet, adding that even the Caprivi governor at the time, Leonardo Willima, signed it off, providing the validation of the information therein. If you look at the, the booklet, Violence is Not Our Culture, that was produced by young women and older women in Zambezi region. Um, you'll see it in the introduction. There's, an, uh, it's, uh, there's support from the regional governor of the time. This was 2010. And there's support from all the four traditional authorities in Zambezi region. So all I can say is I wish the young women traditional leaders courage. It is their cultural practices that they must transform. Uh, prevention organizations, it's NANASO, NAPA, Namibian Planned Parenthood Association, Namibian Red Cross, Namibian Women's Health Network. So there are many partner organizations of the Women's Leadership Center who are working on the ground in Zambezi region who read this booklet before we printed it and endorsed it and said this must be printed. But some of them are also using this booklet in their own training. Overcomer Wellness Consulting, Kame Karawiupi, said he attended the conference yesterday and said we shouldn't throw a blind eye to these cultural practices. He added that the people calling it false information aren't the ones on the ground. Countless booklets have been written before by reputable organizations like the Legal Assistance Center, LAC, on the harmful cultural practices. What took place in recent days about the Caprivi region or the Zambezi region is inhabitants of that area coming to the fore to say, acknowledging what is already known and emphasizing that they are doing something about stopping it. So to me, a lot of people who through social media or whatever platforms should come out to say there's a lie about women being abused. There's a lie about being women being oppressed. That someone needs guidance. That someone needs dialogue. In other areas or at other times it's even known as passion killing. We have known about women being inherited by the brother-in-law. These are things that are not just confined to the Caprivi region, but it is all over Namibia, it's all over Africa. There are certain plots and spots in Africa where this is practiced. Young people who may be ignorant of it can be enlightened about it. Old people who are stuck in it can be also be uh, engaged. And the, the, the ones in between who may be enlightened to it to say, we know about it and we do something about it, need to get that airtime. But to say, someone out there says, we don't abuse women, we don't uh, deny women their rights, we don't deny, we don't deny women uh, uh, plenty, plenty full, ample space for opportunities for them to grow as human beings with full acknowledged human rights. Karui Upi encourages the Namibian nation to speak out about incidents of this nature to help educate the people living in villages and rural areas that we live in a modern age and some cultural practices should change indefinitely.